Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. This time I've got uh, this California Chardonnay. Um, this is a brand that I've been kind of wanting to do a review on and I guess maybe I thought it was a more expensive wine or maybe I've had their higher end wine at some point, but I remember having this brand early 2000s at the Palm Restaurant in Chicago and one of the managers at the place I used to work at raved about it. it was a cab probably um and it was like oh it's great and it was like i remember being for some reason i remember being an 11 dollar or 15 dollar per glass wine now at the time i kind of thought and you know, that was probably like a 60 i'm sorry probably I see if it was 15 bucks so yeah maybe like 60 dollars or 40 to 60 dollar bottle of wine so like, Ooh, it's expensive but you know this retails for 12 bucks so that's about what a glass of wine would cost if you sell these by the bottle. So maybe it wasn't that great of a wine. But I, I remember it being good. Let's put it that way. But I wasn't really into wine that much, so I couldn't tell you. But anyway, I've been wanting to try uh, this, review this label for a while. And uh, it was on sale. So I decided to go ahead and take a crack at it. So we've got the Dynamite Vineyards 2009 Chardonnay, 2009 Chardonnay from the North Coast. Regularly sells for $11.99 at uh, World Market. Um, bought it for $5.98. Um, such a deal. And since, uh, yes, the, the set's the same, but washed all the glasses, had some lunch, ran an errand real quick, so uh, I've got that. So Dynamite Chardonnay. Um, this uh, is 100% Chardonnay. Uh, and they've got some stats on the, on the uh, web page. Uh, let's see, they have barrel aging. 80% was stainless steel. 20% was barrel. Uh, nine months. Um, I guess they had nine months. Uh, yeah, barrel for nine months. 70% of which was American oak. 30% was French oak. And uh, they talked about they did malolactic fermentation with this. So um, that just meant there was another fermentation that changed it from malic uh, acid to lactic acid. So you get that creaminess versus the apple-ness, okay? Um, so anyway, uh, Central Coast, no, sorry, did it say Central? Central, no, North Coast. North Coast, but it's sourced, let's see, sourced their Chardonnay from a variety of vineyards in Mendocino and Lake Counties, and that they're moderate to high altitudes. What they talk about is that, um, you get you get some great heat and sunlight during the day, so it raises the sugar level up, and then at night it cools down pretty quickly, so it raises the acid level. So you, you get high acid, high sugar, um, which is a characteristic you might be looking for, depending on the winemaker. Some some winemakers want that, some winemakers don't. All right, so let's check it out. All right off the bat, I get that, I don't want to say stereotypical Chardonnay um, aromas. But I, I get that kind of apple type of um, aroma. What do they say? Fragrant orange peel, green apple, and pear, vanilla currant. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't get vanilla caramel. I don't get, what is it, orange peel and pear. I might get some orange now that I'm trying to look for it, but I get apple, and it's it's green apple, not red apple. But that's really about it. Um, you know, we'll see. Let's see how it tastes.
Well, all right, so very high acid, very tart. Um, I get that apple-y type of flavor. Um, I don't really get any butteriness, but they said it had a 100% malolactic fermentation. I don't get any supple creaminess. I mean, maybe I'm getting a little bit because it feels... Now that, it, now that I'm really kind of letting it settle in the mouth, I'm getting that um, that coating, that fuller body. So it, it's like having some milk, um, but it's not like I get a cream or a buttery flavor. Um, but super, I mean, high acid, high acid content for sure. Apple-y, not really caramel, but I can kind of see that. That's about it. Honestly, I don't really like it. The problem is with me and Chardonnay, it's, I hate to say it, but it's not one of my favorite varietals. I mean, I have, this, sty this style of Chardonnay is not a favorite of mine. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad wine. I'm not saying it's poorly made. Um, it's just not my style. So with that said, uh, what kind of score would I give it? So let's think about how well made the wine is. Um, I, I don't. I, I think it's. I think it's okay. I don't think it's anything spectacular. Um, I think it's average. I, I think at six bucks, it's very well priced. At twelve, it's typically priced. Let's put it that way. For the wines you're going to find in this in this price range. I don't think it's overpriced. Let's put it that way. Um, I think there's lots of other $12 wines out there. They're gonna, they're gonna taste just like this. I think there's also some $6 wines from Australia with a burn on it that are gonna taste just like this. Um, you know, it, it's, it's just a style I'm not really a fan of, so I can't necessarily say that I would rush out and buy another bottle. Uh, I, I drink these Chardonnays because I want to find Better or Chardonnays that fit my style, and I need to know I need to know this style so I can uh, recognize and talk about it. Do I like it? Not really. I mean, if it was if I was at a restaurant and that's the only Chardonnay they had, I'd, I'd probably drink it if it was what I felt it was going to pair well with the food. Um, it's probably something that should be paired with food. Let me try those jelly beans with it. Actually, oh, jelly beans probably. I see if I haven't scored it yet. No, not really. I don't know, it's just too tart. It's too sour for me. You know, I'm not, not really a fan of it. Um, Okay, let's talk about the wine. How's it made? I mean, it's got it's got some good flavor to it. Uh, again, not my preference. Um, high acid. I, it's a little too acidic for me. Uh, and I like acid in wines, but I think it's it's not that it's too high in acid. It's just too tart for me. Um, I don't get anything really else. It, it the there's a there's a body to it. It's fuller bodied, but it just it just feels like it doesn't. Not everything works. In concert, at least for me, it doesn't. Um, it feels like I taste the apple, I get that bitterness, and then, then I get, oh yeah, there's a bit of not creaminess, but I can feel like a little coating of the mouth, and it feels like, it feels like you know, a, it feels like a, a song in three parts that are, that don't work. That you know, that you you get the first part and then it's done. Then you get the second part and it's done. You get the third part and it's done, and that's it. They don't. It's not like a three-part harmony. It's like listen, three-part harmony, but you're listening to each part by itself for what they sing, and then that's it. So you don't you don't hear them mix together, and that's that's kind of what I get out of this. Let's try it one more time. Maybe maybe it'll come together.
I don't know, it seems like it's getting a little bit better. I mean, the bottle's been open for a while. But as we always talk about, it's a very small surface area of oxygen to interact with. Now it's been in the glass for 10 minutes or so. I don't know. Score. I don't think it's a poorly made wine. I think it's just as good as any other wine out there for the same price point. Um, I'd probably give it like an 87. So it's not poorly made. It's just not my style. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, as always, thank you for stopping by. Uh, there'll be a link to their website, which doesn't really have much. They, they have like their press kit, and that's about it. Um, I think this is this was the website that had that. Um, I think so. Anyway, I'll have a link to the website down below. Leave a comment. Maybe you've had this wine. Maybe you think I'm full of whatever. I think I'm crazy, and this is the best Chardonnay in the world. Let me know. Why do you think it is? Or do you agree with me? Or do you think it's... Um, or do you kind of in between? You're like, yeah, it's better than you think. Say it is, but it's not the best. I don't know. Give me your comments. Let me know. Um, so click that. Friend me up up, up on the top. <clears throat> Facebook, Twitter, etc. And uh, click the uh, click the donate button. Donate whatever you want. Uh, I have like a little kind of tongue in cheek thing about producership and blah, blah blah. Yeah, you'll get a credit if you if you if you, if you want. You'll get a credit if you do contribute. But um, I'm not really worried about the amount. I just kind of a little fun with the whole 1337 thing. Um, but anyway, um, that's going to do it. And we'll see everyone again next time.